Hello everybody. My name is Avery. I've grown a little bit of a beard, gotten a bit of a haircut, standing on top of my head like I'm a hedgehog, and a lot of time has passed. Quite a lot of time has passed. So I'm going to be, of course, posting this in the Jacksonville Yukio community as well because I want to give a huge thank you to all of those people um, as well as, of course, a huge thank you to all of you guys, my subscribers, that I have not talked to in quite some time uh, because of the fact that, uh, well, I've been busy with life, uh, graduated college, uh, have a degree now in communication, specializing in radio and television production. Uh, so that's been fun. Uh, and I literally just got the phone call maybe about 10 minutes ago that I passed my background check. And so now I'm going to be working at um, basically the job of my dreams. And uh, I wanted to let you guys know uh, that unfortunately, uh, Yu Gi Oh! is going to have to go on the back burner. I'm going to be working weekends at this job. So that means I'm working from Wednesday all the way to Sunday. It's a full time job. So Mondays and Tuesdays are my only days off. So no regionals, no YCSs. Nothing like that. So, basically, I just wanted this video to be a huge thank you to all of you guys, uh, my subscribers. Um, you know, because I, I don't know how long I'm going to be having this schedule. Um, you know, I, especially to you know, I want to give a huge thank you to the Jacksonville Yu-Gi-Oh community as a whole. Um, you know, uh, God, there's so many people in this community that have come and gone. Um, all of the people that I hung out with, like literally. 11 years ago, now that I'm 23, I just turned 23 uh, early October, 11 years ago, the Jacksonville Yu-Gi-Oh! community was so, so different. Um, you know, shout out to my buddies Michael and Derek, uh, shout out to my buddy Greg, uh, shout out to my boy Charlie, my big brother from another mother. <laughs> um, you know, all these people were in the community and, you know, going from <laughs> Team Milk Money to the Team Chaotic. I was like 13, 14. I didn't know how teams work. Like, teams were a big thing back in the day. <laughs> um, to now, it's like I was buying the best decks and turning around and selling them for not much out of a loss. Um, and I was making good money with uh, technically the current job I have now before I go into this new full-time position. Just buying whatever deck I wanted to play and playing it. And um, it sucks because I really felt like I was starting to hit my stride as a good player. Um, when I went to the last regional that happened in Jacksonville a couple months ago, I was at table five or six. I was at either table five or six, and I was playing um, the Mystic Mind Build of Sky Strikers that had topped the YCS like a week or two before um, the event. And so um, I was playing the deck really, really well. Um, it was funny because, you know, Sky Strikers can't get around the Blackluster Soldier Link monster, and so my opponent was playing uh, Shadal Dinosaurs, and uh, I went Shark Cannon, take, took the Shekinaga, sat on it in defense, and I won in time because I had higher leg points. <laughs> and it was one game. One game took 45 minutes. No, yeah, about 45 minutes because, you know, the three the three turns and whatever. Um, or no, I'm sorry, not not three turns. It was 45 minutes because we had a time extension. But anyway, it was just, it was fun. I went X3, I bubbled out, whatever. Um, but I just, I think back on all of the memories I've had throughout my basically 11 years playing this game. And I remember back when I was in sixth grade, I was 12 years old, and I went to my first locals. Uh, shout out to Dan's Sports Cards and Games, by the way. Back then it was just called The Game Room. And uh, I remember I went in basically playing a beatdown deck. I remember I called it an attack deck. And I played like Gene Warp, Were uh, Gene Warp Werewolf, Dark Triceratops, which was like a 2400 beat stick that did piercing. I was playing Monarchs. And then like the next week after that, I played Burn. And like in my first locals, I went 2-1. and one, And then the next round was taking forever to start. So I just left. Probably would have gone 2-2 two and two in my first locals. Um... But it's just, it's it's crazy to think about all the memories I had playing Synchro Cat with Dark Strike Fighter, playing Infernity, playing one of my friends at Locals and setting monsters in my back row. And I still lost. He was playing Black Wings and your boy still lost. <laughs> so yeah, I was I was a little bit of a, of a degenerate growing up. Um, I had a running joke for a while when Zodiac was out that I, I did I did pay seven hundred dollars for that deck. Uh, for people that have been asking in the Jacksonville Yu-Gi-Oh community, did you actually spend that much money? Yes, I spent a hundred dollar no ninety nine dollars a piece on my barrages for three of them. I spent like seven hundred dollars on the deck, and I turned around. And I think I sold it for like six six fifty. Um, 
but just like I was joking around saying like I'll do anything to win, even cheat. And uh, I've, I've never once, you know, like at a regional or something, I've never once cheated anybody. And if I did, I had no idea. Um, there was one time where I cheated somebody and I genuinely forgot um, where I was playing. It was when I topped with Cosmo. If you go back in some of my videos from a couple years ago, you'll know that I topped with Cosmo. Um, and I had a Thunder King on board. And I used Cosmo Town to get a search. And, you know, obviously I couldn't do that because I had Thunder King. I genuinely had no idea. Me and my opponent both missed it. I felt bad after the fact, um, but, you know, I honestly forgot. Um, but, you know, 99% of the time, I've never cheated somebody again. It's usually been by accident. Um, and and I, I like to take that with, with pride, that throughout my 11 years of playing this game, I know for a fact I've definitely improved over the years. I'm not going to be a YCS contender player. I'm not going to be, you know... Jeremy Mitchell, who can, you know, show up with Pendulum, scream GG in the room, and just, you know, smack some ass, you know what I mean? Um, not going to be no Romeo who's going to scrub out playing the best deck. I'm just kidding, Romeo. You know I love you. Huge shout out to Romeo. I only say that because everyone else gives him a hard time. Uh, I don't cheat like Montarius. I'm kidding, Montarius. I know you don't cheat. Everyone says that you do. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, but... God, there's some there's some really cool people in this community, you know, not just in, in the Jacksonville, Florida community, but just around the world. It is so cool. All the people I've been able to meet, all of the interactions that I've had, um, you know, making connections with people, um, you know, just just making friends, really. I mean, it's it's been such a cool experience. Um, I want to do get into some shout outs, though, uh, specifically for my community uh, that I feel have made me a better player or have just been friends to me in general. I got to give a huge shout out to uh, my buddy Perry. Um, you know, always love hanging out with you, dude. Uh, Brian, really cool guy. Met both of them in college and they turned out to play Yu-Gi-Oh as well. Really, really cool people. Montarius, you know, uh, offering to play test with me all the time to, you know, help me be better player. Uh, Romeo, also another guy I met while I was in college also played Yu-Gi-Oh, which was funny because the class that we met in, we both thought the same girl was hot, and so we would always talk about the hot girl in class. <laughs> um, so I got to give a huge shout out to Romeo. Um, I got to give a shout out to Tino, um, helping me especially become a better player. We had a fantastic match at a regional some months back, and we actually drew. Uh, he was playing Sky Striker. I can't remember what I was playing. Uh, it's going to take me too long to try and think about what I was playing, but um, going from getting my ass beat 2-0 by Tino to go to a regional and take a draw um, made me very happy because that felt like I was on the same level as him, um, being able to compete with a good competitive player like him. Uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, Jonathan Barber. A lot of people said that he has a big ego. I'm not going to discuss that here, um, but I've known him for, God, at, l at least six, seven years. Um, watching him improve as a player has always been really cool, being able to talk with him about the game get his opinions on things, get his perspective on things. Um, watching <laughs> watching Jeremy Mitchell uh, beat some ass with pendulums has always been fun. I always hated playing Jeremy just because, you know, you're playing against Jeremy Mitchell and he's playing pendulum. He knows what he's doing. And uh, it's it's not going to be a pretty day for you. <laughs> um, yeah, there's so many other people in this community. And if, if I forget your name, I do apologize. Um, like I said, shout out to my buddies Michael, Derek, Greg, Charlie. Um... Oh my God! So many people. Uh, Andrew, uh, Taylor, uh, Jeremiah, uh, Jeremy. Like, oh my God! Like, I'm having to go way back in the Rolodex here, you guys. I've, I've. Let me see. Out of all the locals I've been to, I've been to one, two, three, like at least five or six different locals where I have met people and made a connection and all that fun stuff. Um, so, again, if I have forgotten your name, I do apologize. Um, but I also want to make something clear that this isn't necessarily the end of my career. I tell people all the time in the Jacksonville Yu-Gi-Oh! community that, you know, I'm one of those players where I'll play test at home because I may not necessarily have a lot of time to go to locals. Um, you know, so I'll come out of my hole for an event and, you know, maybe top the event or do something really good. And then I'll go back in my hole and sell the best deck and then I'll wait until, you know, another event comes up and I'll buy the deck. Typically, I only go to locals, you know, a couple weeks before an event to help myself play test, get in the mindset, get in the zone, so to speak, of being in a tournament-like setting, not just playing online where you're peace and quiet to concentrate, having the loud noises around you. Um, 
which is a, a, tip, a quick tip for me. If you want to get better at the game, go to locals as much as you can. Be around that environment. It's going to help you be a better player. Um, but yeah, um, this isn't necessarily the end of my career, but I don't know how long this schedule is going to be lasting for me. It could be a year, it could be a month, it could be two years. It could be forever. Um, so unfortunately, I'm really just not going to be able to enjoy the game as I have. Um, doesn't mean that I can't go to a local if there is one on, like, say, a Monday or a Tuesday, but I'm not going to buy the best deck just to go smash people locals, you know, or to get my ass beat at locals, one or the other. You know, it's it's not worth the time. It's not worth the money. So, you know, I've got Dev Pro and all that. Um, the deck that I would have played for the November Regional, in case anyone was wondering, I would have played Heroes. Um, that would have been in Kissimmee. And then in the Jacksonville Regional, I probably still would have played Heroes, depending on how well I did... Um, at the November regional, may have stuck with heroes, but of course, if I would have got my invite, I would have just sold the deck and then gone back into my hole. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think that covers everything. Uh, give, gotta give a shout out to Raymond as well. Uh, like I said, there's so many people in the community, I can't remember them all. Um, oh, Joseph, my buddy Joe, can't forget you. Um, Nathan, shout out to you. My boy Leaf, shout out to you. My buddy, uh, Murphy, shout out to you. Uh, God, y'all have been like a squad to me. I really do appreciate it. So thank you guys again for everything. I hope to be back in the community very soon. I um, just want to make this as an announcement in case I really end up ghosting the community. And, of course, I want to thank all my subscribers for all the years of support, even though I've sort of ghosted my YouTube channel for quite some time. But regardless, it's been a fun ride, and as Robbie Cole likes to say, the ride never ends. So wish me luck in my future career, you guys, and I hope to be seeing you guys again soon. Thank you again for everything, and thank you to the Jacksonville Yu-Gi-Oh! community for teaching me about the game and helping me to be a better player as well. So good luck to all of you guys uh, in future endeavors, and don't stack at events.